Now for our story. It was late dusk of a cold, windy day. Randy Lane, Aunt Mary's son, who had recently returned from overseas, and Lefty Larkin, with whom the younger man had a firm bond of friendship, had gone rabbit hunting in the afternoon, as much for the pleasure of tramping through the countryside, uh, talking things over together, as for the hunting itself. It was growing dark as they paused on the riverbank near the old familiar bridge. As they stood watching the swift current of the river, swollen by the winter rains, they'd noticed the figure of a young woman standing on the bridge, looking down into the dark waters. Hey, hey, look, Lefty. Huh? There's a girl up there. Seems to be all alone, too. Oh, yeah. Hey, you're right. I wonder what she's doing up there in this cold. I don't see a car around. No, neither do I. I think it's Miss... No, no, she's not tall enough. <laughs> I don't believe I've ever seen that young woman before. Well, whoever she is, she'll be catching a nasty cold if she stays out in that little thin suit. This is no day for admiring the scenery, if you ask me. <laughs> Which reminds me, let's get a move on. It'll be dark before long. Besides, Aunt Mary will be worrying if we don't show up in time for dinner. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. Hmm? What's the matter? That girl. Good Lord, Lefty. Look! The old railing had torn loose. The men were horrified to see the girl fall into the icy waters which swirled beneath. After the first instant of paralyzed shock, Randy had torn off his jacket, had plunged in and fought his way toward the place where the girl had disappeared. As Lefty stands on the bank, watching anxiously... Hold on. Hold on. There, there, I've got you. Over here, Randy. Good work, boy. Okay. There, uh, you're all right now. Uh, here, I'll, I'll take a shoulder. Oh, thank the Lord uh, you were here. Got there just in time. Yeah, under, <coughs> under the bank here, Randy. Out of the wind. Okay, Lefty. <laughs> no, no, you're all right. Just, just lie still. Here, Randy. Here. Put my jacket around there. Yeah, good idea. Uh, let's get a fire going, Lefty. Yeah, yeah, I'll get some wood. Hey, any coffee left in the thermos? I think so. Right where you went in. Okay. Yeah, I found it. Here, here now, here's some hot coffee. It'll make you feel better. Yeah, now, just drink it down. I'll have a fire going in no time. Good. Oh, gosh. Don't tell me I'm out of matches. No. No, here they are. Oh, darn that wind. There she goes. Why? Oh, I, I, I'm sorry to be so... Don't, so don't much. talk now. Plenty of time later. Lefty, we've got to get her home. One of us will have to run ahead and get the truck. Yeah, yeah, I will. You're going to be okay now? Sure, sure. But make it as fast as you can. You're right. So long. So long. Oh, uh, Lefty. Yeah? Tell Mom to get things ready, you know. Uh, don't worry, boy. <laughs> there, there now. You, you mustn't cry like that. <laughs> You're safe now. Safe? No. Oh, yeah, sure you are. Look, don't be frightened. It's all over. I've always said that old bridge was a menace. I'm sure glad we have it along when we did. Oh, here now. Give me your hands. Got to get that circulation going. I'll have you nice and warm in no time. Yeah. That, that feels better, doesn't it? Please don't bother. No, the feet. Take those wet shoes off. Oh, no. No, I'm all right. Yeah, how are you shivering? Now, this may hurt a little, but it, it's good for you. I'm sorry. It's the best way, though. There. Now you're beginning to feel warmer, aren't you? Sure you are. Getting a little color on your face, too. And, and stop thinking about it. About what didn't happen. About what didn't happen. Yes, that's what I'm thinking about. I know you got a scare, but... Oh, here, better drink some more coffee. <laughs> hey, see how much better you are already? Oh, this trouble. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's all right. This is one of my favorite places to swim. 
But I usually go in the summertime. Oh, you're all wet. You must be cold, too. Oh, no, don't worry about me. I'm only glad we came by when we did. I wish I could say I am, too. But I'm not sure it's so. I almost wish you'd left me. Oh, hey, you don't mean that. Well, I do. Perhaps it was intended to be that way. Oh, you don't really wish you were at the bottom of that river now? You can't. Well, that's no way to die. A pretty girl like you. Oh, living's too much fun. You, you really wouldn't want to be missing it all now, would you? What difference does it make to me? <laughs> oh, so that's the way it is, huh? You're unhappy about something. <laughs> Whatever it is, it, it couldn't be worth giving up for. You don't know. <laughs> oh, but I, I do. Nothing's that bad. It can't be. It's easy for you to say. You're strong. But I'm not. I'm weak and tired. So tired. That would have been the answer. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That's never the answer. You've got to give life a chance. Oh, I've done that. I did give it a chance. But it wasn't any use. And I haven't any courage left. You will have. No. Sometimes you see there's nothing left. No reason to go on. Well, maybe it, maybe it just seems that way to you now. No. There's nothing. No one. Somehow I don't believe that. You're a man. You're strong. You don't know about the emptiness. The loneliness. Well, maybe not, but just the same as... Oh, by the way, my name's Randy Lane. What's yours? It doesn't matter. Okay, I get it. Oh, it's not that I want... Oh, that's all right. Skip it. But I'd like to straighten you out on one thing. Yes. Don't get the idea that a woman can't be just as strong as any man. Why, one of the strongest, most courageous people I know is a woman. Your wife? No, my mother. Oh. And that's why I'm taking you when Lefty gets back with the truck. Oh, but I, I, I don't want to bother anyone. Let me go back. Now, look, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't even matter what's bothering you. But tonight, you're my responsibility, and I'm taking you home. Oh, but I can't go to your house. Your mother won't want me. I'm a stranger. Well, you may be a stranger to me. But you won't be a stranger to my mother. In the flickering light of the fire, Randy looked at the young girl searchingly. He wondered who she was, where she'd come from, what her story was. She was a lovely young thing, he thought. And at that moment at the Lane Farm, Lefty Larkin burst through the kitchen door. Aunt Mary looked up, astonished at his rather wild appearance. Why, Lefty? Oh, oh hello, Aunt Mary. What on earth? Uh, now, now, don't get excited, Aunt Mary. There's been a little accident. I've got to get the keys to the truck. Lefty, what's wrong? Where's Randy? Uh, Randy's all right. He's down at the river by the bridge. At the river? I don't... Lefty, what are you doing without your jacket? I can't explain everything now. I, I put it around the girl. What girl? What are you talking about? Oh, some girl who fell off the bridge. Oh, Lefty, no. Yeah, the, the railing gave way. Randy went in after her. He got her out all right. Now I've got to take the truck back. Well, of course. You must bring her here. Yeah, yeah, we'll be back right away. Well, hurry, Lefty. It's so cold and windy. They must be freezing out there in wet clothes. I'll get a bed ready. Yeah, and you better call Doc Lewis, Aunt Mary. I'm afraid that young woman's in pretty bad shape. She's had quite a shock. Well, of course she has, the poor thing. I'll call the doctor right away. Oh, oh wait, Lefty. Uh, better take a blanket with you. Okay. Now, don't worry, Aunt Mary. She's going to be all right. Oh, I hope so. Uh, Lefty. Yes, Aunt Mary? Do you know who the girl is? Is she someone from around here? No, I don't. I, I never saw her before. Quickly, Aunt Mary went about making preparations for the strange young woman's comfort. Warming blankets by the kitchen stove, getting out the hot water bottle and the bottle of brandy which was kept in the house for just such emergencies. It didn't matter to Aunt Mary that she didn't know the name of the young woman, but even if she had known it, the name Lisa Fenner would have meant nothing to her. Lisa Fenner, who in a few minutes would find shelter in Aunt Mary's house. The last thing Kit Mead would have wanted. 